Morning guys. So this is what we came for this morning. These incredible little grey wagtails. So we've got one just on the rock here in front, which is exactly the shot I wanted to get today. It's almost like they're tame actually, they come so close. Absolutely superb. So this morning we're on the River Dart again and it's just the most stunning morning. And um, we're, as I say, going to be hopefully getting some great footage and um, shots of the grey wagtails. They um, seem to uh, sort of fly right up and down this little uh, stretch of river here and in and out of the um, the bank on the other side. Almost like little kingfishers and uh, quite, quite a lot like a dipper as well when they fly over the water. But yeah, I'm the only one here. There is, it's 10 o'clock, I've been here for a couple of hours now. And there's nobody here. It's got the sun coming up over the, uh, the trees now, melting off some of that, uh, that frost that was here this morning. but just absolutely stunning. So what I want to do today, um, as well as just showing you the amazing wildlife um, we have around here, um, I want to show you how I use the uh, Wimberley Sidekick. Um, the reason being that, um, you know, if you wanted to invest, if you're in the market for a, uh, for a gimbal for your, um, you know, if your tripod, a gimbal head, um, you know, the Wimberley's five, 550 quid, I think. But if you've already got um, a, a tripod with a ball head, like I did, um, the Sidekick might well be a really, really good option for you. Um, it's not something I really use for video, to be honest with you. It's more geared towards stills, I find, um, and I'll explain why a bit later on. But um, hopefully, if, you, you know, if you're in the market for a gimbal head um, and you're not quite ready to uh, splash out um, you know, real top dollar, you can you know, get the Sidekick and, and use some of the kit you've already got. So, as well as the grey wagtails today, I'm hoping that um, when we move a little bit further down river, we're going to get some um, mandarin duck. Uh, we might get some cormorant along here. Um, I mean, might get some, some tree creepers, which should, you know, which would be great. Um, just you know, see what we can find, really. Um, but the grey wagtail were the main reason I came up here today. Um, and yeah, I've, I've seen them dancing. Um, above the uh, you know above the surface of the river, and they're just absolutely beautiful. So um, that's what we're going to do today. Thanks for joining me. Um, I hope you're all well and staying safe. We're nearly out of lockdown, um, but uh, yeah, if you like the video, don't forget give it a like and uh, a subscribe. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm going to get on with trying to film and photograph some of these wagtails, and I'll catch up with you a bit later on.
Okay, I said that we'd have a look at the, uh, the Wimberley uh, Sidekick, which is the other uh, gimbal head that I use. Um, so this is it here. Um, I use it mainly for stills, if I'm honest, um, but there's no reason why you can't use it for, uh, for video as well. Um, it's really simple, uh, straightforward to use. Um, just a simple uh, clamp on the side there. Um, you need to put um, an arc clamp uh, plate on the, uh, the bottom of the, uh, the lens mount there. So that just um, sits in the clamp there. Make sure you uh, tighten that down. Um, and then you control the um, movement of the gimbal with that um, lever there. And it's, you know, once you lock it, it's not going anywhere. Um, the difficulty you have with this lens here is that you can't balance it because it, it extends. So there's no single point um, of balance. But basically, even when it's um, fully extended, you lock that down um, and it's not going anywhere. Um, so yeah, the main reason I got it was because it was half the price of the, uh, the you know, the normal um, full-size Wimberley gimbal. Um, I already had my Benro B2 ball head, um, which is, uh, you know, what you would use with the, um, the Wimberley Sidekick, or any kind of ball head, obviously. Um, and so it just meant that I could use that bit of kit um, that was otherwise just sat in my bag, um, never really uh, sort of coming out with me. So it was fantastic just to be able to get um, some use out of that as well. Um, it's a really solid bit of kit. It is, uh, you know, cast iron, um, I think. And, but yeah, that's really solid. It's not going to rust. Um, it's not that heavy. Um, and yeah, you know, that just clamps in um, to the side of the uh, bull head, like so. Tightens back in there. Yeah, really, really simple and straightforward to use. So um, I also use this um, as, with my uh, monopod. So I take one of the legs off um, the uh, mic tripod here and um, obviously screw that directly into the ball head. And then you've got a really uh, excellent monopod um, and a really stable base um, to go out capturing stills. So yeah, if you're in the market for a, uh, for a ball head and you're thinking about the Wimberley, um, you know, obviously it's a fantastic bit of kit. I've not um, owned it myself, but um, you know, this, uh, if you're not quite ready to fork out, you know, five and a half, uh, five and a half grand, uh, 550 quid um, for the full size one, and you've got a ball head, you know, might as well um, give it a try. So I hope you find that useful. Um, I'm going to keep it, uh, you know, on here um, and see if I can get some stills of the Kingfisher that literally just flew past. <laughs> Okay guys, I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, batteries are getting a bit low now, so uh, I think I'm gonna say cheerio. Um, thanks for joining me. Um, I hope you've uh, enjoyed the video and you found the information about the Wimbley Sidekick useful. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a like and subscribing. Um, really appreciate uh, all of the comments uh, you guys leave me. Any questions at all, feel free to ask. Um, I'm hoping I might get a snap of uh, the Kingfisher before I go um, but I think I'm going to have a little wander about um, and see what else I can find before the batteries do die so um, thanks for joining me see you later stay safe bye for now